Hello, welcome back to Average Gamer Plays Factorio. And I've been doing a little bit more testing on the oil supplies and I think I've got the problem sorted out. I've changed this combinator to request 750,000 items so it should always have plenty of trains trying to fulfill that request. And because there's so many factories here using up all the items, it actually gets through it quite quickly. Um, I've changed the output on this one to filter straight just onto this line. So the trains come out of here, they come down and round and back up and then through along this diagonal and into the plastics factory at the top. And that's cut down, uh, eliminated all the traffic jams I was getting around there. I've put in a third oil pickup station, which was from these original oil wells that I was drilling for the, uh, the plastics factory when it was down here. So that is all connected together. Now I initially had, it wasn't actually sending trains to this station, and that's because I only had this bottom set of tanks wired up, and it was only reporting 399,000 units, and the uh, threshold limit was 400,000 or something. So it just was never sending any trains to this station. So I've now wired up the back set of tanks as well. It's now reporting 799,000, and then trains get sent there quite happily. Uh, another thing that I've fixed was that these stackers here for this set of recycling stations weren't actually long enough, which could mean that when trains were coming in here to pick up recycled steel, recycled blue circuits and recycled plastic, the trains weren't able to get in on this line and were probably sort of waiting back here and then that was causing more traffic jams. Now thinking about the traffic jams, I started thinking more about where each factory was doing its inputs and outputs from. And I think I want to get to the situation where each octagon or each railway junction, there's only one junction along a horizontal or vertical section of rails. So like along here, that's fine. There's only one junction. Along there, at the top, that's fine. There's only one junction. I could move these and I'll make them more centralised. But for things like the red and green, along here, there's two junctions. One inputting to pick up the finished product and one outputting from the raw materials. So I want to change that. And I've already changed the output here so that this is outputting to the right-hand side instead of to the bottom because of this same problem. We've got an input and an output too close to each other. Now, the other solution that I can do for this is to turn these stations around at the moment the trains come in and they come down from top to bottom. But I've got the stackers there. I might do that in cases where it's plausible to do that. I think for this one, it's going to be easier to have the station, uh, have the input for this moved to the top so the trains come in at the top, they then go through the stacker, and then they go out at the right. Now what still sends a spanner in the works for all this is the depots. Because it's when I put the depot in place that that then adds a second input and output onto the horizontal and vertical, or the, the, well, the horizontal lines. Well, the, these depots add might add a second thing onto the horizontal lines. This depot style here already has an input and an output or input or an output on each side. So that would have to be in a square on its own. So to solve this problem, I think I need to move the depots out of the squares and into the octagons. And maybe these half octagons, if they're big enough, I think I'll be able to squeeze a, a diagonal depot into a half octagon without too much trouble. But it is then going to be a case of where I might see if I can have the input diagonally and the output diagonally and the depot sort of in the middle. And I'm toying with the idea of having more depots with fewer trains just so that there's going to be less traffic on these junctions. Now then, we're trying to work something out whereby we have a rails in and a rails out along this diagonal so oh 
That's interesting. Will that not actually go from there to there? That's interesting. Right. That either goes from there to there or from there to there. Hmm. So maybe I can't do a diagonal. Uh, let's think about something slightly different. Is it that that line is... No, it will go. It's just a case of getting it in the right place. And then, can I do something where... Um, I might still have that sort of coming in um, Then all that could go out like that, and then Maybe the whole lot can go along a little bit like that. Um, we put that down there. Remove all the signals from it. Um, right, so that is going to be Yeah, that still goes out in that direction. Why does this never want to draw? Straight line. Mm. 
So that depot could look something like that. Uh, the trains come in. Pick up power from over there. Something like that. I think, I, yes, I don't need the extra. I need to fix that blueprint. Not that I'm going to be putting down many more of these as they are at the moment, but it has a few extra um, power poles in there. But I kind of like that because then that depot can be used in different places now if I copy all that and rotate it will it still fit in down there it will So I could use that as a depot station. Um, <clears throat> inside an octagon. And then the inputs for that don't get in the way of the inputs for yeah they do still cross the lines I mean I'm just thinking because they, they, they because it's already on a diagonal it looks completely different but I'm thinking that that will and it, it, this still needs um, signaling as well um I think that will be something like that. Right, let's start putting that in and we'll see how well it looks. Um, this oil field along here may get in the way of it, but it may. Hmm. 
not go in there perfectly because of those. Um, but that's not maybe not the end of the world because I might just not have that line going in at the bottom left. And if a train wants to come in on the, this depot from that bottom di direction, it's going to have to go on the middle line. Be that those two lines are in the way. Hmm. Alright, let's control set all that. Let's let's have a rethink on that a little bit. should be able to put one in over there um, let's just have a little look and see if it goes in diagonally That just holds 16 and this held 29, so I might need to build quite a few of these in different... Um, and I'll have a think about what to do with this one here because I might just be able to move that um, uh, input a little bit further up. See, I don't necessarily want to build one here and another one there because then I've got the same problem where I've got too many ins and outs along this diagonal here. So it might be the case that we have to... Let's see, how many depots have I got at the moment? I've got like... It says I've got 120 there, but I've just created 16. Right, so I'm going to need... So I'm going to need to put in another five or six of those just to get back to where I was before. I can have one in there. That's one. I can have one there. One. I don't want to have the depot all the way up there, you see. Because the trains will be too far away from anything. I might end up moving some of these factories around. If I move the blue circuit factory somewhere else, or the red and green, 
Although I could have... Ah, right, hang on a minute. I can still have a depot. In the top half of that one. That'll fit in there. I can turn this recycling station around so that the recycling comes in. Right, so if I have depots in and um, octagons that touch each other, I've got to have them both in the, like the top half or both in the bottom half so that the ins and outs aren't on the same set of diagonal lines. I can't quite fit a cleaning station in a half octagon down here. I'm just thinking if I could rotate it. I mean, it certainly goes... It would be a tight squeeze. I could fit a smaller cleaning station in the half octagon and then have a depot there and a depot there. The only factory at the moment that lends itself to sharing with a depot is... Um, Ah, no, I can have utility science sharing with the depot as well. So red and green, I can change. Um, yeah, that, that whole area there, in fact, let's, um, let's put that one in. Right, so if I start taking up some of these stations. Those trains should then start. be parking themselves somewhere else, which they do. Okay. Let's put down... Okay, I shall carry on tidying that up. Um, <clears throat> you know, just putting more depots in and just seeing how many how many stations I then have. I mean, if I take all these, Taking those off. Take that one off as well. They should then repark. Elsewhere, so there's plenty of station, plenty of trains queued up there. Nothing's going over there as yet. I've got 104 of these stations instead of 120. You can set a deconstruction planner to do everything except the trees. This one is just for rails. And signals.
so I may have to uh, let's just put down everything in there on there. something like right so I'll have to remember um, I'll put a tag on the map Yeah, if you're to collect and I'll know that that is then in that square Now, if I were to have right, so there's an entrance for the I don't think it's going to work so well if I put another one in there like that. I think these I'm going to have the same problem that I had before.
but I could work something out where um, I need to start dismantling some of these old depots as well to see how um, how much space I have left. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to end up having to move uh, some of the factories around. Some of these factories are going to end up an awful long way away from these smelters. Right, so the depot has got the entrance and exit on the diagonal. So I can have a depot at the top. I can take this cleaning station out and sort of redo it going across these two lines. So the clean, this cleaning station I can just rotate. Because then I've got an entrance there, an exit there, an entrance there, an exit there, and an entrance there, and an exit there. Okay. Let's just have a look in here and see how much... Um, stock there is in there to move probably not a lot to be honest um 9300 steel 2300 steel 2300 384 copper ore nothing in that one well that's interesting did it never actually get used or did I re did I break it with something else? Ah, I think that the, the, the trains that were coming in and you because it must have used it and dropped some stuff off there because there's some stuff in, in these things, but it must have only ever come out down that line. So let's make a train with a couple of cargo wagons Let's load it all full of stuff think I actually have anything on me. I have a bit of wood. Leave that there. Um, I have some trains on me so let's drive that round to
Uh, where shall I drive this to? Because I need to take it somewhere where I can empty it and I don't actually have a dedicated trash station and I need to set one up I think. Right, so let's leave that there. Go on the map, we can come over to there, and we can say that can go to uh, trash drop off until empty. Once it's here, um, what I need to do is set up some pick all those up. And then we'll have um, that can just request uh, normal nuclear fuel, I think rocket fuel. I'm not going to use that uh, that train too much for anything. So that is my crash train and I will just call that to wherever I need to pick up some stuff I can fill that up with whatever send it back here and it probably doesn't actually need One loco and four wagons is probably going to be plenty on that, to be honest. I could move this depot and just have this as an input and then 
have that as an output there and uh, yeah I might just do that just have this sort of cell same square design and just move it up inside this octagon so just because it's inside an octagon it doesn't mean it has to be on the diagonal because it won't fit on the diagonal because of this one over here if I break that line I need to um, just build this by hand so I'll have rails in so that it's not connected. to power this okay I need to put some logistics bots now then let me just put that down in the middle Okay. 
Oops. Okay, so, um, OK, 
Okay. So we have depots there. Depots there, depots there. Those depots I'll have to move. But all those trains will just relocate over there. Once I take these stations out, they'll just move. Although I've got to bear in mind that half of these are for fluids anyway. We're getting there. We are getting there. I'm really done with mining productivity 45. I mean, you know, five times normal speed. This does still... Look away. 2037. Uh rockets which is which is good going in my previous 1000 science a minute base I only got as far as about 1800 rockets before I got the base balanced and working the way I wanted it to so this is the most rockets I've ever launched in the game Right, still four and a half million left there, 16 million there, although part of that is underneath the thing. Um, but when that is out, yeah, I'll have to start mining that copper down there, but that's going to be, that's used for the, um, mind you, I don't need to make that many more solar panels. Um... 470,000 already down and I've got 5, 10,000, 12,500 so I'll have to bear in mind um, that I can maybe sort of turn this factory off um, when I start getting close to um, But if I've got sort of, yeah, when I get to about 490,000, I'll wait for that to fill up and then I'll turn this factory off. I'll just cut the, uh, I might just cut some of the input lines here. And then the rest of the coal and, and the, uh, the copper will just be used for the, uh, the main base. Or the, the starter base, anyway. I'm hoping that half a million solar panels is going to be enough. It's uh, it's, it's a bit of a sort of finger in the air figure. Um, well, it's got 4.4 million left there still. This has only got 4 million in the whole patch. But there's still plenty of coal around there to keep the uh, the coal liquefaction there going for the plastic. That's not a problem. Okay, that'll do for now. I will leave it there and I will say see you next time.